What's going on, ladies and Welcome back to another news video. We do this every Thursday. I go over all of the adventure quest news that I think is interesting. Let's get into the video. All right, first things first, we have previews of the brand new sets that will be coming this Friday. Uh, one's farmable, one's for ACs. I'm pretty sure it's the one on the right that's in the AC shop, and the one on the left that's farmable. So basically the same stuff, kind of just reskinned a little bit. Well, it's there. there's some differences, but not very many huge differences there. Basically about the same stuff. Each and every day of July, you have a chance if you log in to win a thousand ACs for every day. I think I, there was confusion. I uploaded a video about this this week if you want to see that. Uh, I think there was some confusion in the comment section. Uh, people thought it was one time that you could win one KCs. But no, uh, they're picking a person every day until the end of July. So every day until the end of July, there's you get one chance per day if you log in that day. So make sure you log in every day. Uh, there's a chance you can get 1,000 adventure coins for doing so. Uh, also, here's the animation that's going to be on the armor. So a little small, tiny lightning animation. And I don't know if that's part of the map. It looks like it's kind of touching this. I don't know, that looks weird. That's probably part of the map animation right there, though. And uh, yeah, some J6 map art looking very nice. Kulong with a brand new armor. This armor looks super sick. I love the uh, orange and purple mixture. Very good mixture of colors right there. All right, Arctic tweeted this out. Uh, I made a video about this yesterday. If you want to see my thoughts and me going in depth on this and what it could mean, stuff like that. I made a video on it yesterday. It's up on the channel, so go check that out if you want to. Uh, but basically, Adventure Quest Worlds is moving forward, and the mobile version of Adventure Quest Worlds, along with the 60 FPS client, will be something that they're focusing on in the future. So, uh, yeah, if you want to read through this, uh, you can find it on RX's Twitter. So, go check that out if you'd like to. Or you can watch my video that I uploaded yesterday, and I go and explain it, give my thoughts on it, and stuff like that. Also, custom weapon winner for July was Shad. Uh, so if you don't know, every time you buy a membership, ten dollar or non membership, it can be ACs or membership, ten dollars or more, uh, you get entered in that month for a chance to win a custom weapon of your choosing. Uh, last month it was the person that picked the I can't for, I can't remember his name. My apologies to the winner. Oh, it was uh, it was part of the video. I um, I think of the name. I uh, took time thinking of it, and it was wrong. So the actual winner was Obi Wan Kenobi. And I might be wrong again, but uh, all right. Um, he won, um, and he picked this item that you can get right now in the museum in Battleon. He made it available for everyone, uh, so it'd be really cool to see what Chad picks. Uh, I have it's gonna be Nolgat themed. I know that. Uh, I do have some other information. Let me quickly get that for you. Okay, I don't know what Chad wants me to say on the video, but he wants it to be color custom and a few other really cool things that I'll definitely dive into in the future if. Uh, we'll have to see it has to get approved and stuff like that and I haven't got word back on whether or not it's been approved yet so we'll see but it's gonna be really cool or whatever it is and you guys will get to see that on the channel in the future uh, just put this in here because just a reminder there's not that much cool new there's not that many cool news pieces this week but uh, this set is gonna be coming out in the future it looks really sick and uh, there might be versions of the sort I already said that in a previous news video but I thought I'd throw it in here it's just be just to remind you guys can't wait for that to come out. Wonder when it will come out. Who knows? And uh, that part CC. So the red part on there. Cool, cool. Uh, J6 put out a map, uh, daylight and a dark version of it. So apparently he makes the daylight versions of dark maps first, and then he converts them into darkness, which actually looks really cool. I mean, I like the daylight version as well as the nighttime version. So they're both really nice. And uh, that is all the Adventure Quest World's news we have for this week. Uh, not that much news, to be honest. There are a few pieces of AQ3D news. Uh, for one, if you didn't see the video I uploaded earlier this week, not a lot of people did. I uploaded it on the same day. I also, probably not smart of me, I uploaded this video and this video on the same day. If you guys didn't check that out, uh, go check it out. I show the new dungeon and the new items and the uh, sound update. I go through a very in-depth video. That was actually probably my best AQ3D video I've ever made on my channel. So if you guys would like to see that, I put a lot of time editing it and stuff like that. So if you'd like to see that, that's on my channel, uh, you can go check that out. Uh, Frost Castle, actually really cool dungeon that they added to the game. So if you wanna check that out, also uh, these are all the videos I pulled this week. If you missed any, you can check that out. So in AQ3D, they're adding uh, animals, I guess. 
like the bank the banks can be run by animals i mean if we can get an owl mask that would be a one like a like a mask or like a whole helmet that's an owl head that would be great if anyone from that works on ak 3 d is watching this you can have that suggestion for free i uh, thank you uh maybe you can give us dragon crystals to buy it <laughs> it might be really cool to get a, an owl helmet i'm just saying and there's gonna be a bank npc and stuff like that so you're gonna be able to go into the bank and uh yeah that's basically the update for ak3d that's about all the news that i could find f related to adventure quest one piece to ak3d news uh i also decided age was working on an armor set but i don't really want to show it because it's not even finished so it just, uh, just looks like a in progress armor set for ak3d so not really that interesting Thank you guys for watching this video. Really short news video this week. Uh, tomorrow will be a stream. We'll be playing through the event in Adventure Quest Worlds. And uh, yeah, I'll be live on my Twitch probably right after this video goes live. So if you guys want to check that out, I stream. I try to stream most every day of the week, but uh, I do miss a few days here and there. But uh, I'll be live tonight if you guys want to tune into that. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Uh, peace.